Hey YouTube, this is Technic9 from AndroidTechLoveBoxPad.com and today I got the HP Touchpad on my uh, with me today. Now this isn't mine, I'm just borrowing it from a friend, but I'm gonna be making a couple videos on this. So any people with te HP Touchpads, keep watching my channel for the next couple of videos, guys. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to install CM10 Jelly Bean onto your HP Touchpad. Yes, this is very amazing because first, HP Touchpad was based off a of Web OS, so. Even now, they got CM9 on there, and now they got CM10 on there. So today I'm be showing you how to install it onto your HP Touchpad. Now, before we begin, you must have you must already have Android installed on your phone, right? And Clock of My Record you are already installed on your phone. If you don't, I, sorry, I, I mean on your tablet. So you must have it already installed on your tablet. Once you got it installed on your tablet, then I'm gonna be showing you the rest of the process. So make sure you have some type of Android installed on your tablet. So let's get started. Right here, you can see that I have actually CM10 on my tab. Right away, you can see from the lock screen, right there, you can see from the lock screen, I got a little jelly bean lock screen, and you, I can unlock it. So let's just head over to my computer, and I'll show you the rest of the process. But before you get to your computer, make sure you just plug in your HP Touchpad to your computer, because we're going to be transferring some files. So just plug it in via micro USB, and the other side, the USB port. So once you get that plugged in, fire up your computer, and we'll do the rest. Alright, so you can see these two zip files right here. Let me zoom in so you get a better angle. So all we're going to be doing is download those two zip files in the description below, like always. Download those two files, and we're going to be transferring into our HP touchpad. So if you're using a Mac, then use Android File Transfer. I have a link to the application in the description as well. And if you're using Windows, just use the normal transferring, the one that pops up when you plug in your phone. So I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to be using Android File Transfer. So this process will work for both Windows and Mac. So Android File Transfer. There you go, here's Android File Transfer. And I'm just going to be transferring these two zip files into my touchpad. So I'm just going to transfer it. As you can see it is transferring. So I'll be right back when this is done. Okay, the file transfer is done, so now you can unplug everything, and now we're going to bring the rest onto our HP touchpad. So let's just review. Make sure you transfer those two zip files onto your touchpad, and make sure you already have Android, or you have dual boot already installed, or at least you have Kakuma Recovery and Android installed on your HP touchpad. Alright, now we're going to be entering the Kakuma Recovery mode. So just power off your phone, or your tablet. Sorry, I'm so used to phones. So we're just going to power off. All right, now we're just going to turn it back on, and when you turn it back on, you'll have the option to go into recovery mode. There we go. So we're just going to go into recovery mode, use the volume buttons to select it, and use the home button to select it. Or to, yeah, navigate. So as you can see, it's starting up. Alright, now you're in recovery mode. So you, you can see right there, you get all these options. So now we're going to go to, first we're going to wipe the cache. So go all the way down, use the volume buttons to navigate. Wipe cache partition. And once again, home button select it. Go all the way down to yellow, swipe cache, and select it. Alright, that's done. That was really quick. Now we're going to go to advanced. So let's go to advanced, and wipe Dalvik cache. Alright, you can see that it says, there you go, cache wipe complete. So now we're going to go back, once again. And now we're going to install the zip from SD card. Go back again. All right. Now install zip from SD card. Hopefully this full. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna go install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card, and we're gonna find that CM10 file that we transferred earlier. So it should be at the bottom somewhere. As you can see right there, CM10. Select that. Once again, use the home button to select it, and go all the way down to install. This will take a few minutes, so please bear with me. I'll be back when this is done. Okay, it is complete as you can see right there. Install from zip card complete. So now we're gonna go back. So it says choose it from SD card, choose that, use it once again, use the home button, select it. 
and we're gonna find the G apps, also known as Google apps. So that will install all your Google Play Store, your Google Talk, Gmail, all the things that you want to install applications and all that. So right there, there's G apps. I have two of them. Um, you only have one of them at least when you first transfer it. So we're gonna. It's called G apps dash JB dash two zero one two zero seven six one dash shine dot zip. If you didn't know, all right. And power button or home button, select it. Go to dot yes and select it. This will be really quick, so no need to be. You don't have to be patient for this one, guys. All right, it's done. And now we're just gonna go back. So go back and once again home button select it. And now we're gonna do reboot system now, the very first one. And now since it, we're installing a new ROM, it will take a little bit of time to reboot the first time. So just say boot into Sajanamad and power button select it. And it boots on automatically if you don't select it. So now in a, in a couple minutes you will be on the new Jelly Bean CM10 and your HP touchpad. You be every other touchpad available except for the Nexus 7 which already came pre-installed so that's a pretty cool feature you should be proud of that glad you got the HP touchpad I'll be back once this is done alright just finished booting up took about five minutes and it updated the new applications installed the new GApps applications and the new CM10 applications so just take a quick look at it as you can see right away the um, lock screen is different you got the little bubble icons that comes with every Jelly Bean uh, custom RAM or stock RAM so let's just go to settings real quick and show you that's actually in CM10. Where is settings? And you can see the apps are still installed because you did not have to do a factory restore. You just had to clear the cache. So that's a big bonus that many other phones do not have. So let's go into just about about tablet, and you can see right there Android version 4.1.1. And let's look at the. Sajenema 10, right there, Sajenema 10. So there you go, guys. Can you open it, guys? All right, so that's how you guys get it. Let me see if the jelly, yep, the jelly bean actually does work. Where well, you hold it down, and then you got the fun jelly beans you can play with. So you can play with that for a little bit, guys. Enjoy that. Enjoy your jelly bean on your HP touchpad. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope that this tutorial was helpful. And if you found this helpful, you want to watch more content, you want to support me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and rate this video if you found it helpful, guys. And also, check out the links below for my Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. You can get support on there anytime within 24 hours. And for emergencies, contact me at techfanatnight at gmail.com, such as bricking and all that. So if your phone can't work, contact me on my email. If anything else, like Ram, any other questions, just contact me through Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. See you in the next video, guys.